I, Robert Karioki Kibochi, Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces, do swear in the name of the Almighty God that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, preserve, protect, and defend this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, and that I will protect and uphold the sovereignty, integrity, and dignity of the people of Kenya, that I will diligently serve the people and the Republic of Kenya without any fear, favor, bias, affection, ill will, prejudice, or any political, religious, or other influence. In the exercise of the functions entrusted to me, I will at all times and to the best of my ability respect, uphold, preserve, protect and defend the Constitution, people and Republic of Kenya and obey all laws, orders, regulations, directions and instructions concerning the Kenya Defense Forces. So help me God. I, Levi Franklin Mgalu, Vice Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces, do swear in the name of the Almighty God that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Republic of Kenya, that I will bear, I will obey, preserve, protect, and defend this constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, and that I will protect and uphold the sovereignty, integrity, and dignity of the people of Kenya, that I will diligently serve the people of the people and Republic of Kenya without any fear, favor, bias, affection, ill will, prejudice, or any political, religious, or other influence. In the exercise of the functions entrusted to me, I will at all times and to the best of my ability respect, uphold, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution, people, Repub and Republic of Kenya, and obey all laws, orders, regulations, directions, and instructions concerning the Kenya Defense Forces. So help me God. I, Jimson Mutai Lungiro, Commander of Kenya Navy, do swear in the name of the Almighty God that I'll be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, preserve, protect, and defend this constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, and that I will protect and uphold the sovereignty, integrity, and dignity of the people of Kenya and that I will diligently serve the people and Republic of Kenya without any fear, favor, bias, affection, ill will, prejudice, or any political, religious, or other influence. In the exercise of the functions entrusted to me, I will at all times and to the best of my ability respect, uphold, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution, people and Republic of Kenya, and obey all laws, orders, regulations, directions, and instructions concerning the Kenya Defense Forces. So help me God. I take this opportunity to congratulate our new Chief of Defense Forces, General Robert Kiboshi. Mugala, Major General Mutai, you are now part of a team after this swearing of oath of office, and you now take up the leadership 
of our Kenya Defense Forces today. I am personally confident that you will indeed steer our defense forces with steady hands. You have taken over from General Samson Mwadede, who has served this nation selflessly with loyalty and complete dedication. And I expect no less from the incoming team and neither do the citizens of this republic. You are joining your colleagues in the Air Force and the Army, taking the mantle of leadership at the KDF at a time when the country, our region, and the world is confronted by a number of threats and risks and apart from those that we are used to, such as terrorist threats, we are also confronted with COVID-19. We have floods. We also have locust invasions, amongst others. My expectation is that your team will focus well driven by the reason for your existence, and that is to protect and defend the territorial integrity of the Republic of Kenya. And my comfort today is that you have already been part of a team that has evolved Kenya's vision and strategy for securing our nation and our people. So I wish you all well, and I look forward to working with you individually and collectively as we have always done. I commend you, Waziri, and your Ministry of Defense team for ensuring a seamless transition. And I believe that this signals our maturity in our governance credentials and a strong belief in civil transfer of power as has been envisioned by our Constitution. It also, I believe, too, underscores the value of established rules and procedures. In the KDF, a transition has been, a tradition rather, has been established where merit and professionalism combined to produce a predictable and stable career management system for all its officers, servicemen, and women. And I congratulate you all for this and urge you to continue preserving these very strong credentials. This is a tradition and practice that upholds excellence and indeed the professionalism of the Kenya Defense Forces and an attribute that every other part of government and society should emulate. My friend General Mwadede, as you today revert to being a civilian, as a retired CDF, you must do so with pride because you have indeed served well. And I also hope that you will remain available to your colleagues and indeed myself whenever we may need your counsel. Once again, to each and every one of you here today, I thank you all. And the Kenya Defense Forces, the Police Force, Forestry Service, KWS, NYS, and all our discipline services present here today, 
I thank you all for your service and commit myself to continuing to work closely with all of you in our endeavor to secure and develop our great nation, Kenya. Asante, General Mwadade, and to you, General Kiboshi, Levi Mugala, General Mutai, Tuende Kazi, Aturudi Nyuma.